Roars for nothing. Welcome to Anderson Arena at Bowling Green, Ohio. We got the Michigan Wolverines taking on the Bowling Green State Falcons. I am Brad Fanning alongside Tim McCormick. Tim McCormick uh, will be here for tonight's ball game. And Tim, this place, 5,000 points sold out. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be loud. It's going to be tough for a guy like Gavin Groninger, Michigan's leading scorer. Uh, good night. You're going to help Michigan win. I agree, Brad. And Gavin is regarded as one of the premier three-point shooters that the Big Ten has to offer. Off dribble penetration, he gets a lot of open looks. He's been Michigan's most consistent player this year, averaging almost 17 points a game. He must be strong this evening. So Groninger does it from the outside for Michigan. Lenny Mattel, the guy that's going to be doing it from the inside, will be G. Got to have a good day, but BG's going to win it. McCullough is the strongest low post offer that BG has. What you're going to notice, first of all, he's strong and tough on the inside. You throw the ball to him. What he gives you is interior scoring. He makes his free throws. And last year in Ann Arbor, he gave the Wolverines 16 points and 7 rebounds. turnaround this year and Michigan's Tommy Amaker said they're ready to go Bowling Green of Michigan next hey that looks good what are you eating easy Mac mom make it for you no I did does she know it was her idea all I gotta do is microwave noodles and water and then mix in the cheese and it's good well let's just say it's the cheesiest Obviously, Easy Mac isn't the only cheesy thing around here. I know. But we all love you anyway. Craft Easy Mac for the cheesiest anytime. Hey, guys, I'm home. Hey, did you get my... Did you get my nail polish? Thanks. Hey, Mom, what did you get for me? Um, I got you peanut butter. And, uh, some bananas. Oh, and one more thing, a special vest. Giant Eagle, make every day taste better. How does SNK do it? You mean all this great quality menswear? Yeah, at such incredible prices. During SNK's holiday sale, leather jackets are 50% off and micro suede sport coats under $120. Which one do you like? Um, this one. No, favorite this one. Injured? Call 1888. Elk, Ohio, and Elk and Elk, we're not afraid to roll up our sleeves and put in the hard work to get you the money and benefits you deserve. Without our help, many hardworking people would not know of all the benefits they should be receiving. Our law firm is here to protect the interests of the little guy, the average person without the backing of a multi-billion dollar insurance company. Join the winning team. Call 1-888-ELK-OHIO. Elk and Elk, the law firm of the new millennium. How does SNK do it? You mean all this great quality menswear? Yeah, at such incredible prices. Now at SNK, all Kilburn and Finch wool blend suits are sale price two for under two hundred dollars. SNK has every kind of suit that you can think of, except this one. Oh. Uh, connecting people, Huntington banks, banking, insurance, investments, First Energy. Our energy is working for you. GMAC, the financial services people from General Motors. Office Max, you supply the ambition, we'll supply everything else. Kraft, title sponsor of the 2002 Kraft Mac Women's Basketball Tournament. Giant Eagle, make every day taste better. And Advanced Auto Parts, the best part is our people. Welcome back to Anderson Arena. We're getting ready for tonight's ball game between Bowling Green State and the Michigan Wolverines. The place is rocking tonight. 5,000 strong. It's going to sell out for a long time. Students were lined up for tickets on Monday morning at 7.30 just to get in the door to see this ball game. Falcons come into this thing and on 3-1 and one of the season, coming off a couple of big wins in Alaska at attorney there. They beat Ole Miss. They beat Delaware. And here is the uh, starting lineup, though, for the Michigan Wolverines. You got Bernard Robinson, Lavelle Blanchard, Chris Young, Mike Gottlinson, and Gavin Groninger. Talk about Lavelle Blanchard, Tim. Lavelle Blanchard is an All-American candidate, all Big Ten preseason. He has been slow this, uh, this start of the season, and he must come out strong in this game. 
Blanchard going to have a good game, or plans to anyway. Here's BG starting lineup. We've got a freshman in Eric Crawford. Then it's got Clayson, McCullough, Party, and McLeod, four seniors in the starting lineup tonight. McLeod awfully dangerous for BG. McLeod is at the top of the Michigan scouting report. Tommy Amaker has great respect for what he can do with the ball. Let's take a look at the keys to the ball game tonight. Tim, you got to continue to keep McLeod, just like you said, right? This guy can score, and he's quick. Well, the thing that Keith McLeod does, he scores in a lot of different ways. Michigan's defense has to stay disciplined tonight. By that, I mean, BG runs a lot of passing They can't gamble on defense or it's two points. So you continue to keep McLeod. You play smart defense, you got a chance in here. Uh, keys to the game for Bowling Green tonight. Got to control this thing. Pace, uh, pace of the ball game, an important one. If Dan Dockich and the Falcons going to win this game, right? Bowling Green with the control issue. They have to be able to slow the game. They must attack the glass. And on the wings with Bernard Robinson and Lavelle Blanchard, Michigan is very dangerous. Michigan, Michigan very dangerous. And... Uh, Michigan would like nothing better than to get a win this year. Uh, get a win for Tommy Amaker. Doesn't want to go back-to-back -back losses to the MAC Conference. Lost to Western Michigan over the weekend. That's right. Michigan would be in last place in the Mid-American Conference with a loss today. Tommy Amaker, you know about the pedigree. He comes from Duke, and he will have his team ready. Yeah, speaking of pedigree, pretty good pedigree on the other sideline, too. Dan Dockage coming from Indiana. What do you think about Michigan in the role of Duke? And Bowling Green in the role of Indiana. Dan Dockage is a protege of Bobby Knight. You see the passing game, the aggressive defense on the wing. This is going to be a very, very good game. And for anybody that doesn't watch Bowling Green, I would say that that a victory today would not be a surprise in any way. As a matter of fact, they're probably favored in this game. Yeah, Dan Dockage said earlier in the week the two things this guy's got to focus on. The older guys can't go out there to prove a point and say, hey, I should have played in Michigan. And the young guys can't go out there and be intimidated. They just got to go out there and play the basketball game like they know how to play basketball. And you throw the, the crowd into the mix, and he thinks you're going to have a pretty good shot at it. When you look at the MAC preseason report regarding the Eastern Division, there are many schools ranked ahead of Bowling Green. But the thing that people forget, there are four senior starters on the Falcons, and then two years ago, they were the MAC East champions. This team is not going to go anywhere, and the fact that up in Alaska, they beat Mississippi, they took Washington to the wire, and they beat Delaware, which was a 20-win team last year. The Falcons are a very good club. Falcons are a good basketball team. Might have a little trouble matching up athletically with Michigan, so that pace, uh, that pacing, uh, the pacing issue is what you said is, is huge. And uh, some of the MAC teams have pulled off big wins this year already. Look what Ball State did in Hawaii. The biggest thing that I see there is that the Mid-American Conference is no longer a sleeper. People that follow the game know of the strength of this conference, as was evidenced last year as they went in strong into the NCAA and made a great showing. So Ball State, those wins. Bowling Green trying to get another big one. Already beat an SEC team in Mississippi. Going to try to get Michigan tonight. We are set for tip-off here at Anderson Arena in front of a sold-out crowd. Early on, as you see Sam Licklider heading up a fine officiating crew. Michigan must have a good job dealing with Brandon Harden with the ball. He's the foundation of this team. Yeah, Brandon Harden, the, se the senior going against Mike Gottfriedson right there, a walk-on. Lost control of that one early on. Now the ball goes over to Michigan. But again, that harden Gottfriedson matchup, it's key for you. Isn't it? I mean, it's, it's interesting because Brandon Harden knows how to run a team. Mike Gottfriedson, you're not going to see him hold the ball a lot. His job is to distribute. Crawford. BG off to kind of a rough start, lose the basketball, get a foul, and Dan Dockage not overly happy the way things have started out for him. What do you think, Brad? Little payback in order last year in Ann Arbor, Michigan with the 18-point victory. Yeah, Dan Dockage even said they were they were never even in that game. They got with another seven points at one point, but Jumper 
penetration that Michigan has to offer. Nice screen off, held from the wing. Clayson left Lavelle Blanchard. That's dangerous as well. Bernard Robinson very good with the dribble drive. Yeah, all the talk seems to be about Blanchard and Bernard Robinson, but how good a win players these two are. As you watch Bernard Robinson, I'm gonna say this right now. Bernard Robinson is a future NBA player. He's long, he's athletic, he gets up to the basket, can put the ball on the floor, and I really think his future is very bright indeed. Robinson makes both. We got a tie game of two of these. Harden on the break. because another foul, and he's going to be sitting down. They'd love to get that ball inside to Lenny McDowell, but Lenny not necessarily posted up on Chris Young down there, is he? Nope. And the matchup to watch here is 2-1 blue against 2-0 white. Robinson versus McLeod.
stay up. Maybe not. Pulls up. Very disciplined approach by the Falcons. No surprise if he sent Jan Dockage a Bobby Knight disciple. Crawford for three and off. Rebound by Chris Young. There's going to be a battle for some boards between Mattel and Young tonight. Energy's been a part of your life. You know us as Ohio Edison, the illuminating company, or Toledo Edison. Whenever you've needed us, we've been there. And even if you choose an electric supplier through Ohio's Electric Choice Program, we'll still deliver your power as reliably as always. Moose? <laughs> First Energy. Our energy is working for you. Toledo and surrounding areas, listen to this important announcement. The Hoop Basketball and Fitness Center has an incredible grand opening celebration offer. They're giving away one year full privilege open play basketball and fitness center membership free to the first 10 callers right now at 866-884-3400. That's right, one year gift membership to the first 10 callers at 866-884-3400. Call toll free now, 866-884-3400 to win a membership in the world class Hoop Fitness Center. You know that from area households alone, approximately one million pounds of trash arrives at our local landfill every day. Did you know you could change that? Did you know it only takes a sticker? Did you know all recycling items are picked up at the curb? Did you know that curbside recycling is available in your neighborhood? Hey Toledo, get with the program. The Curbside Recycling Program. If you have questions about bi-weekly curbside recycling, call 936-CITY. That's 936-2489. Welcome back to Anderson Arena, a distinguished guest on hand. We got the former president, Dick Dixon, in the crowd. I am not a crook. <laughs> Tommy Amaker. I can tell you this, when he took the job in Michigan and he grabbed his schedule for the first time and said, we, we play Western Michigan away and Bowling Green away, who made this crazy schedule? Because this is a scheduling law. It would not surprise anyone if Michigan, a young team, comes into a hostile environment like this and loses this game. Well, not to mention what this will do to him down the road if they have a shot at going to the NCAA tournament. You got lots of two uh, Mac, uh, Mac schools in uh, Western Michigan and BG. Brad, you know what this is? Michigan hopes to play in the NIT. Bowling Green expects to go to the NCAA. That's a huge difference amongst the players. Ball out of bounds, coming back to BG. Michigan in zone, out of the out of bounds situation. That's difficult because versus passing game, Bowling Green's not going to run a lot of plays today. Letting the go with a turnaround that won't go. Dominique Anderson in the ball game now, number 11. Last year, senior in high school. This has got to blow his mind coming into this place. Four. 
service. <laughs> Metella inside the three. That one's not going to go. Michigan with a chance to take the lead. They got a wide open Bailey down for the slam, and Michigan back on top, 16-15. And they really come out looking good after that timeout. Always a sign of good coaching when you get the timeout and your team is fine. I got a feeling that's going to be just one of many lead changes we see tonight. But Brad, I'm not expecting a lot of post game from either one of these teams as well. Foul on the floor. Let's see what's on. We got a timeout on the floor. Office Maxims from Office Max. At Office Max, we know what it takes to succeed, and we've got it all at guaranteed low prices. Over 1,000 superstores and over 30,000 items online. Office Max, you supply the ambition, we'll supply everything else. Imagine a financial services company that's driven to make the world a better place. From the family next door, to the person on the next continent, from your car, to your home, to your business, and everything in between. We're GMAC. Imagine how we can help you change your world. You win when you're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. Glass City Federal Credit Union is a full-service financial institution that's been a proud part of our community for over 50 years. We offer everything the big banks do. We just do it better. Better rates, better services, better service. Plus, as a member, you're not just a customer, you're an owner. Ask your employer if they're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. If they are, stop in and join today. If not, call or stop by one of our convenient locations for membership information. Glass City Federal Credit Union. You win. Welcome back to Anderson. Dan Dockett likes to start for his team. Now, the key thing about his ball club, they shoot the ball so well. Versus Defiance last time out, they started the game with 10 straight three-pointers. Dockett said, I could lock the gym, keep everybody out, have my team shoot all day long, and not make 10 straight. He's got a turnover going the other way. Traveling ball. But that 10 straight against Defiance was... Uh, one shy of a national record. Back is off to a good start, but not that good tonight. I mean, how about 10 straight free throws? That's it. Oh, I know. Forget three pointers with the hand in your face when you're tired and all sweaty. It's amazing. So we have a seen. Looks like we're going to work the post. When it's got to Chris Young, we got to jump off. Possession arrow pointed toward Michigan. Both teams starting out shooting the ball very well. 50% from both benches. Bernard Robinson re-enters the game. Very small look here for Michigan. Chris Young is their center. He's out. It's a very athletic team. I think this is possibly Michigan's best lineup to go small. Easy layup right there. Number 52 got that, I believe it was. Ball on Avery Queen. Is not going to be intimidated by the quickness of Avery. He's only five foot seven. Harden goes to the bench. Chris Wilson back in along with the freshman Eric Crawford. Chris Wilson, the uh, freshman point guard out of Canova, West Virginia, turns it over immediately. Robertson over to Ingerson for three, and he got it. Looks like he drew the foul. 
McLeod wisely taking an aggressive posture. Now, let's look at his game. He's a get-to-the-basket type player. So far, Michigan has done a pretty nice job keeping him to the perimeter. Now, Dan Dockage said today before shoot-around that the number one goal that he has is to get McLeod to the free throw line. That's when this team plays their best ball. Why? Because he creates space and opening for all of his teammates. Lenny Mattella checking back in. Josh Almondson sitting down. Career high 33 versus Mississippi. Yeah, uh, McLeod was the Mac player of the week that week. It's amazing, amazing numbers. 27 free throws attempted in that game. That's a, that's a whole season for a lot of guys. Anderson kicking it out to Avery Queen. the way this offense runs. But you almost saw McLeod just a little bit frustrated the way he's barking on signals to his guys. There's a big difference right there. On cue to the bench. You must have done your home homework, Tim. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take a high basketball IQ to know that this team runs a lot better with a senior point guard. Let's be realistic. Passing game is a hard offense to run. When it's done right, it's very, very difficult to stop. Brandon Harden is going to run this show as well as anybody in America. Speaking of which, Harden back in the lineup. Chris Wilson sitting down. out right here you know we talked about the uh, the bench scoring of Michigan has been outstanding their first few ball games again it's outscoring tonight they're averaging 24.3 points per game and those are the guys coming off the bench wish they, uh, they probably wish they could get, out, get that out of some of the starters huh? <laughs> well they've got two young freshmen off the bench there's Dominic Ingerson one of those freshmen and also Chuck Bailey Avery Queen is a sophomore you can't count on those young points throughout the season that's why it's imperative that guys like like Bailey learn from a guy like Lavelle Blanchard who's at the foul line right now. I really like what Bailey brings, though. He's given them the spark. Lavelle Blanchard, one of the, the dominant rebounders in the Big Ten last year. This guy's got NBA potential, too, huh? He does, but the one thing that I need to see from Lavelle Blanchard is the ability to put the ball on the floor. He's six feet seven. rebounding are down this year. Blanchard makes both. Look deep, look deep, you got it. He was wide open, made the bucket, kept him netted for two. You know why that happened? Because Michigan does not have a center in the game. Chris Young is usually the back man. He plays safety valve. That's a, a, a coaching error. Three-quarter, no good. By LaBelle Blanchard, Anderson now. Quick 
and he showed that he could knock down the jumper. And that's the influence of Tommy Amaker. Avery Queen is a point guard. Tommy Amaker was a point guard. But the interesting thing is, they are the polar opposite. Avery Queen is flashy. Tommy Amaker was very solid and blue collar. players to adjust. There have been four traveling calls so far. Tommy Amaker surely telling his rookie, look, we've got to have our guys be a little bit more careful with their footwork because referees are calling the travel tonight. It's almost like a baseball player getting used to an umpire, right? A hitter getting used to it, knowing, knowing what he can get away with what he can. Well, every crew is a little different. Some call it tight inside. Some guys call charges more. This crew is calling the travel. Try to get the ball inside a little bit more. Very anxious. 
interested to see how the battle between center Chris Young and Len Metello would go. So far, they have not had enough post touches. I really think that Len Metello is a big key to this game. If they can get them inside, Tommy Amaker does not have a real good answer for him. You know, Michigan's built a 10 point lead basically without Gavin Groninger scoring. So, what's that done? Uh, throughout the early part of the season, Let's not mistake what Michigan's bread and butter is. It's Bernard Robinson and LaBelle Blanchard. When they're not playing well, Gavin is forced to shoot a lot more. So far, Blanchard and Bernard have been a little bit more aggressive. We're talking about hitting the teller, which is right where they go to start things off. Preston Crawford for two, that was a miss. Rebound going to LaBelle Blanchard. Adrian Queen is going to set it up. The steal by Crawford. Got one man to beat. He beats Bryant, but he misses the basket. Then he fouls Avery Queen. Freshman mistake? Without question. Now, what we've seen, he broke down the man. He went independent in the offense and took an ill-advised contested shot. Dan Dockage did not like that. Now at the other end, he makes a beautiful steal in transition. He's going a little bit too fast and blows the layup. Then he commits a foul. What you're seeing is the potential of him. He can do great things, but he's still learning. Avery Queen on the line makes the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. The lead stays at 10 for Michigan. with the defensive intensity from both teams. Now, if things stay true, and both of these teams continue to settle for outside jump shots, it's going to be whichever team in the second half is able to sustain things. If somebody goes hold, they're going to be thrown to a, a long drop and that could spell trouble. Crawford sits down for goal, green, Blanchard, Groninger with the best position. Oh, 
Rancho Shocks. Gas cans. Advanced Auto Parts carries more parts than any other store, including one you won't find anywhere else. We need some help. We need a lot of help. Advanced Auto Parts, the best part is our people. With its built-in phone directory, alarm clock, calendar, and optional vibrating alert, you'll discover the easy-to-use Nokia 6100 series wireless phone. It's very helpful in planning your day. <sighs> Nokia. Connecting people. Nokia phones are available at Altel. Visit altel.com for the location nearest you. Fox Wednesday, can Bernie Mac survive his biggest test as a parent? The play date. I'm gonna kill somebody up in here tonight! The hit series, Bernie Mac. Then, is Papa Titus coming out? My dad will gaze and look up because Jesus is a coming. Find out on Titus. Tonight, starting at 9. Watch Fox Toledo. Kramer causes a nun to rethink her vows. I'm dangerous, Jerry. I'm very, very dangerous. On the next Steinberg. Tomorrow at 6.30. Watch Fox Toledo. Bowling Green's got it going, the strong comeback, and they've done it in a lot of different ways. First of all, notice the delivery. Nice steal, nice delivery. Metella getting the ball from Park. And also, you have to love the effort of McLeod. He's not getting it done offensively, but on the defense, he's creating the fast break. He's only got one point, but he already has seven assists. And it's one short of a career high for McLeod and assist. He's already got it. We still have three minutes to go in the first half. Now, when your premier scorer is not scoring, does he go into a funk, or does he find other ways to help your team out? Keith McLeod, in my eyes, he's going to be playing pro ball somewhere. I'm not saying NBA, but he has a career after Bowling Green because does a lot of other things other than just score. Lenny Mattel called for the foul just a moment ago. Lenny taking a seat on the bench. She's got two. Chris Young will go to the line. Chris Young, in my eyes, the most important player on the Michigan team. He's the one guy that can offer scoring with his back to the basket. So far, as I watch him play, I don't think he demands the ball enough. He's a big kid. He's got long arms, big hands. He's got to get in there and say, give me the ball. I've got some scoring to do. Young's free throws, the first two points from Michigan. They had a 10-point lead. Bowling Green was on an 8-0 run until Young made those two free throws. Okay, full court pressure. Last time, Bowling Green got a layup because Chris Young was on the bench. You notice the difference here. I think he may have to sit down. Well, that's exactly what's happening. Gavin Groninger back in the ball game. That's a lot of scoring out of the lineup. But it's his defense that has held McLeod down so far. McLeod doesn't have a field goal.
whistle's being blown. How about Avery Queen, the little guy? Five foot seven. Yeah, I took my son to a Michigan game. He's only eight years old. I said, who's your favorite player out there? He said, Avery Queen, because I'm taller than him. <laughs> I said, son, you're only eight years old. You're not taller than Avery Queen, but maybe next year. Mid-American Conference and MAC Properties salute all of the corporate partners for their valuable support and commitment. Their belief and participation in Mid-American Conference athletics have helped the league thrive, and we look forward to many years of successful partnerships. Fox Wednesday. Can Bernie Mac survive his biggest test as a parent? The play date. Oh, kill somebody up in here tonight! The hit series, Bernie Mac. Then is... 
Mama Titus coming out? My dad will gaze and look up because Jesus is a coming. Find out on Titus. Tonight, starting at 9. Watch Fox Toledo. Kramer causes a nun to rethink her vows. I'm dangerous, Jerry. I'm very, very dangerous. On the next Seinfeld. Tomorrow at 6.30. Watch Fox Toledo. You win when you're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. Glass City Federal Credit Union is a full-service financial institution that's been a proud part of our community for over 50 years. We offer everything the big banks do. We just do it better. Better rates, better services, better service. Plus, as a member, you're not just a customer. You're an owner. Ask your employer if they're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. If they are, stop in and join today. If not, call or stop by one of our convenient locations for membership information. Glass City Federal Credit Union. You win. Welcome back to Anderson Arena. We are at halftime of the game between the Michigan Wolverines, Bowling Green State Falcons. You can see the score right there. Falcons hanging in there, down four at the break. But what we've seen, they could actually probably be leading this thing. Don't you think, Tim? Well, what I've seen is that it's been kind of an uneven half. You've got one team playing very aggressive defense and a couple turnovers, a lot of transition, offensive rebounds. I'm just not sure how this is playing out because it's been such an uneven half. But you've got to love the effort at both ends. Yeah, we saw some problems when they subbed out the starters in the beginning. But then you get the guys back in there. BG goes on an 8-0 run, cuts that 10-point lead down to 2. So we've seen that they can make a run at Michigan. We've also seen when they make a run, what happens to this crowd here at Anderson Arena. What I'm looking for in the second half, whoever controls the board is going to have the upper hand. Reason being, both of these teams seem like they want to get up and down the court. If you get the rebound, that ignites your fast break. Facing, a big key. We talked about that before the game. How do you see the facing going after the first half? Well, Michigan has done a much better job versus the passing game of BG than I expected. A young defense, I didn't think they'd be very good getting over the screens, but so far, BG has not had that many open looks defensively. But as the game goes on, you have to recognize the fact that a tired defense is going to get screened a lot more by Bowling Green. And again, after the first half, Bowling Green State Falcons down 34-30. When we come back, we'll talk with BG head football coach Urban Meyer. You're watching Mac Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. Anytime. Small college atmosphere. Major university opportunity. Discover the ultimate university experience. Bowling Green State University. The big picture in higher education begins and ends with BG. SBX. The Student Book Exchange has been serving BGSU, Falcon fans, and the Bowling Green community for over 40 years. But no matter where you are, we're only a click away. Check us out online at www.sbxgofalcons.com. SBX has the largest selection of BGSU items anywhere. And students, before you spend big dollars on new textbooks, shop SBX and save 25% buying used textbooks. SBX, 530 East Booster in Bowling Green, or check us out online. The United Food and Commercial Workers Union Local 911, representing over 12,000 hardworking members employed by many diverse Northwest Ohio businesses, including Kroger, Food Town, Chief Supermarkets, Rudolph Foods, J.H. Root, H.J. Hines, Great Scott, The Farm, Brennan Industrial Truck, American Flint Glass Office Workers, and many others, has a message for its members. We're proud of you and your contributions to your communities. UFCW Local 911 and its members make a difference. Shop where you see the UFCW logo. You'll make a difference, too. Time now to take a look at the MAC 
East Division, and Tim, who knows what's going to happen in the East this year. Brad, the East is loaded. Let's start at the bottom with Buffalo. Tons of plays by Robert Brown and his backcourt mate, Clement Smith. They get some early wins. Look out, they're going to gain confidence. A little further down the road, let's take a look at the Akron Zips entire city. Andy Hipscher is back and is scoring well. He's going to get some help from Emmanuel Smith in transition. And also, you can't forget about the lightning quick Rashawn Brown. Look at the defense. He has stopper capabilities. And you have to remember and enjoy his moment in which he hit that buzzer beater to beat Buffalo. Very exciting team in Akron. Also, Miami. It seems like Charlie Cole's squads always shoot it very, very well. Doug Davis, the former Spartan of Michigan State, who be teamed up with another excellent shooter. There's Juby Johnson going to the basket, putting his soft off the glass. And you can't forget about Alex Short. The strength of this Miami team is clearly being able to knock down perimeter shots. And I can promise you, Miami will be a factor come tournament time. Let's take a look at Bowling Green. The Falcons will compete for a title. Why? Because they have four seniors that really know how to win. They won a title led by Len Batella two years ago. He uh, the interior strength. How about the acrobatics of Keith McLeod inside? They're a veteran team that knows how to win. And they're led by Brandon Hart, who's their floor leader. He knows how to score. He prefers to pass, though. How about Ohio? The Bobcats with new bench boss Tim O'Shea. They have the great shooting outside of Steve Esterkamp. How about the new Shaq of the Mac? Brandon Hunter is a force in Athens. And also, interior defense will propel this team. Patrick Flomo, the number one shot blocker in the Mid-American Conference. Going up inside, providing the offense as well. And Marshall, the thundering herd. It's time for them. They have three straight third place finishes in the back. The most heralded athlete, Tamar Slay. How about Latisse Williams going inside? And then also the double-double action of J.R. Van Hoos. He had to go to rebound and score inside. I really like Marshall in the tournament. And the team with the bullseye on their back, led by new coach Stan Heath, Kent State. Demetrik Shaw does a lot of good things. Andrew Mitchell with the mid-range game. Looking for a little interior power. The guy that you would go to is Rashawn Warren. Absolutely dominant in their NCAA victory last year against Indiana. And Kyra Massey always providing the intangible. Maybe one of the most dangerous scorers in the conference, Trevor Huffman, regarded by many as one of the most versatile point guards in the Midwest, able to knock down jump shots or take the ball to the basket with ease. It's going to be a great, great tournament and a great season in the East. Again, we're at halftime. Michigan leading the Bowling Green State Falcons. 34-30. I told you we're going to have that interview with that football cat, football coach, Urban Meyer. We'll have it when we get back. Stick around. First Energy's been in your home for over 100 years. You know us as Ohio Edison, the illuminating company, or Toledo Edison. Whenever you've needed us, we've been there. And even if you choose an electric supplier through Ohio's Electric Choice Program, we'll still deliver your power as reliably as always. Hey, thanks. No problem. First Energy. Our energy is working for you. The Mid-American Conference and MAC Properties salute all of the corporate partners for their valuable support and commitment. Their belief and participation in Mid-American Conference athletics have helped the league thrive. 
and we look forward to many years of successful partnership. You win when you're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. Glass City Federal Credit Union is a full-service financial institution that's been a proud part of our community for over 50 years. We offer everything the big banks do, we just do it better. Better rates, better services, better service. Plus, as a member, you're not just a customer, you're an owner. Ask your employer if they're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. If they are, stop in and join today. If not, call or stop by one of our convenient locations for membership information. Glass City Federal Credit Union. You win. Okay. Here's your estimate. Are your car dealer service department's prices trying to tell you something? That's a toughie. Is your local garage hinting at where you... Finding the right parts. Should have taken your car. That's a toughie. Next time, take it to Tuffy. We're specialists with the right parts and the right smarts. And we'll do it at the right price. No matter what kind of car you have. Foreign car, huh? That's a toughie. Tuffy Auto Service Centers. For brakes, shocks, mufflers, and more. That's easy. That's a toughie. Welcome back to Anderson Arena. We're at halftime between Michigan and Bowling Green. You see the score right there, 34-30. Time now to talk a little football instead of basketball. And head coach Urban Meyer joins me now. And coach, first off, congratulations on a great season. You turned this school around from 2-9 to 8-3. and three. Just your thoughts after wrapping up your first year as head coach here at BG. Well, my biggest thoughts are I wish it wasn't over. You know, we had a team meeting the other day and went through, the, went through our film and went through the award winners from the previous game. And everybody looked at each other, so let's go to practice, and, and we have nothing to practice for right now. So my biggest concerns or, or thoughts are I just wish we had one more. And that one more would be a bowl game. Eight and three most certainly deserving, but a lot of times it just doesn't work out that way in college football, which is what, you got, what you're finding out right now. Huh? Well, I've done this a long time. I understand right where we're at. We're, in a, we're a program building. You know, we have a, a scholarship issue. We have to build this program back up, and, and we have to get the fans out like they were the last few games, and, and this is a great place. There's a lot of opportunity here at Bowling Green. Tomorrow we find out who the MAC coach of the year is going to be. I don't know. I don't think I need to rub my crystal ball to have a pretty good idea who that might be. What if you win that award? Well, I think I'll tell you, I, I, I'm very fortunate to be in this conference. I think this is one of the best coaches. I heard that before I got here, but if you look at what Dean Pease did at Kent State, all I heard about is how bad Kent State was. Kent State's one of the better teams in the conference, I thought. And there's some other. Bob Pruitt, what he's done at Marshall, year in, year out. And then, obviously, uh, Coach Amstutz going to the championship game. I think he did a great job. Urban, thanks a lot for stopping by. Once again, congratulations on the 8-3 season. And I got a hunch, tomorrow, this guy's going to be the MAC Coach of the Year. We got to take a break right now. We are at halftime between BG and Michigan. We'll be right back to Anderson Arena. Office Maxims from OfficeMax.com. For over 30,000 products online and free next day delivery, visit OfficeMax.com. OfficeMax.com is the new online destination for small business. OfficeMax.com. You supply the ambition, we'll supply everything else. Imagine buying for top honors at the GMAC Bowl. This year, players from top teams in the Mid-American Conference and Conference USA will journey to Mobile, Alabama to compete in the GMAC Bowl. GMAC salutes the competitive spirit that brings out the best in these players. The same spirit that motivates our people to deliver quality products and services. From auto financing to insurance to investments to home mortgages and real estate. We're GMAC. Imagine how our spirit can work for you. Toledo and surrounding areas, listen to this important announcement. The Hoop Basketball and Fitness Center has an incredible grand opening celebration offer. They're giving away one-year full-privilege open play basketball and fitness center memberships free to the first 10 callers right now at 866-884-3400. That's right, one-year gift membership to the first 10 callers at 866-884-3400. Call toll-free now, 866-884-3400 to win a membership to the world-class Hoop Fitness Center. Celebrate with your favorite friends. I'm getting back today! What? There's wild romance. Come on, Ross, let's go have sex. <laughs> Revealing cliffhangers. My pants are starting to come down and I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> Big events you won't want to miss. We're going to see each other naked. Excellent! The best times are with friends. They're wild. Yeah, baby. Tomorrow at 7.30, watch Fox Toledo. Welcome back.
back to Anderson Arena. Halftime just about over with here. Michigan Wolverines on top of the Falcons, 34-30, as we get ready to start half number two. Let's take a look at the Kraft first half stats, and Tim, what are you seeing here? Everything is very even, but when you look at what Michigan got from their bench, a seven-point advantage is significant. But we can't discredit Bowling Green because their guys shot four out of five from the field. Both benches did a very nice job. Now in the second half, I think that a big contribution from McLeod is going to be very important. He has no baskets in the first half, and you know he's going to score. And no surprise there with uh, Lavelle Blanchard, nine points, three rebounds in that first half. Michigan will inbounds the ball to start the second half. Bernard Robinson, Chris Young, Godfrey, Lavelle Blanchard, and Groninger on the floor for him. And we highlighted Groninger before the game. No buckets in the first half. Right off the bat, a steal by Crawford, the freshman. The block from behind, but Groninger's going to be called for the foul. Seldom at halftime you find coaches that are happy with the performance of their squad. I believe that both coaches like the effort the energy, the attention to detail by their squad. So you get to this point, and you really don't know what's going to happen in the second half based on what we saw in the first. I mean, it's going to be a good ball game. Probably get out of the stretch. Right? I think it's going to. But what I want to see, does Michigan have the same mature approach in the second half? As I said, after you've been run off those passing game screens for 30 minutes, that last 10 is very, very difficult because you're tired. back in the point guard for Michigan. Avery Queen head of the duty most of the first half. Godfrey cannot pick up his dribble against this pressure defense. What a block by Lenny McCullough on Young. But he was the double team man. Went off, played back, and got to his man. Tell us third 
going inside very much. Right. Get a little splash of gas, just sit there, get pit stop, and then he'll be ready to go in a couple minutes. You just told him to sell out for a couple of minutes at this point, huh? You got a senior. This is a golden opportunity to knock off a Big Ten team. What they're thinking right now, at large bid, NCAA. We've got a smart kid to go to him. Yeah, I'm looking for somebody. He's going to have to think about that to Avery Green. Time. Hey guys, I'm home. Hey, did you get my... <laughs> did you get my nail polish? Thanks. Hey mom, what did you get for me? Um, I got you peanut butter. And, uh, some bananas. Oh, and one more thing. A special vest. Giant Eagle. Make every day taste better. Were you seriously injured in a motor vehicle accident? If the insurance limits were not enough and your accident is less than 15 years old, even if you signed a release and you think your case is closed, new Ohio law, known as the Ponzer decision, could reopen your case and provide you with more money. Call us for a free, no-obligation consultation. Don't be a victim twice. 
Join the winning team. Call 1-888-ELK-OHIO. Elk and Elk, the law firm of the new millennium. Basketball on ESPN Plus brought to you by Nokia. Connecting people. Huntington Banks. Banking. Insurance. Investments. First Energy. Our energy is working for you. GMAC. The financial services people from General Motors. Office Max. You supply the ambition, we'll supply everything else. Kraft. Title sponsor of the 2002 Kraft Mac Women's Basketball Tournament. Giant Eagle. Make every day taste better. And Advanced Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Welcome back to Anderson Arena. You see the score. We had a tie ball game here. We got a darn good basketball game going on here at the house that roars. has here for Bowling Green. The reason being, they have the four seniors. They're a very mature team, but they're also very young. I see Tommy Amber for working into Chris Young's head on the sideline. Those young guys are going to be the difference between what Bowling Green is able to accomplish later this year. So a lot of forced turnovers. Take a look at Dan Dockage on the uh, sideline right there. isn't quite there as Gavin Grinder comes back in. Bernard spent the summer at home in bed. He had a very serious case of mono. Is that from kissing the girl? I think it is. I don't know. I never got it. Oh, Bernard's a ball player. He's simply messing around kissing the girl. Yeah, he's got more important things to do. He's got to play ball. out there. The good calculated risk. 
Cloud's got two buckets in the last minute. Got a freshman. Got Daly stepping up the line. So he's got to stay on the line. By the time the ball hit the rim, he was already a step towards the hole. Dan Dockett was telling me that he really likes Chuck Bailey's live body kick. As a matter of fact, Dockett recruited him to come to BG. I know Dockett, when he was in Indiana, also looked at Gavin Groninger, too, so he's familiar with the way uh, with Groninger. Chuck Bailey shoots a second of his two, misses them both. Rebound pulled out by Lenny McKellar. Energy's been a part of your life. You know us as Ohio Edison, the illuminating company, or Toledo Edison. Whenever you've needed us, we've been there. And even if you choose an electric supplier through Ohio's Electric Choice Program, we'll still deliver your power as reliably as always. Moose? First Energy. Our energy is working for you. Kramer causes a nun to rethink her vows. I'm dangerous, Jerry. I'm very, very dangerous. On the next Seinfeld. Tomorrow at 6.30, watch Fox Toledo. Want to win some bad cash? How about $1,000 or $10,000? All this month, Fox Toledo will give you three chances every weekday to win some bad cash. Check out the front cover of your Fox Ball Values magazine for your lucky number. If your lucky number appears on the screen, you might win $1,000 or maybe $10,000. Keep your Fox Ball Values magazine handy and keep watching Fox Toledo to win your fast cash. When you become a member of United Food and Commercial Workers Union Local 911, you'll receive an abundance of benefits, including free and discounted legal services, prescription drug discounts, extra income by working the STOP program. Here's a union member to tell you more. I have worked under a union contract that provides our wages and benefits, and that has helped me with my family. UFCW 911. The benefits are fantastic. To join the more than 12,000 member local, call 1-800-232-8279. Welcome back to Anderson Arena. And the youngins, come on, it's a school night. You guys should be home. Totally be home right now. Whose kids are those anyway? There's your old buddy Dick Dixon, too. I don't know who that guy is, but I don't know. All right, let's get into a little strategy. Very wise for Bowling Green to make Michigan spend 30 seconds on defense. They're tired as patient as they can be. They'll get good shots. the other end. If you're in Michigan, I look at two different scenarios. Number one, you've got to be patient, but I also think that they should go inside to Metella. He has three fouls. He's going to play passive defense. If he gets number four, he's sitting down. And that's Chris Young back in the ball game, and that's exactly what they were doing. Foul not on. Are they going to give a tell for that? that for a nice share of smart basketball by Avery Queen. And Tommy Amaker, being the point guard, is trying to get his young, tiny point guard to think the game. Mattel's got four, and he's going to be sitting down for a lot of this game. You know, I like how both these coaches 
see the other team's weakness and react to it really quickly. The both well coached teams. This time the foul's gonna be on the cloud. That's his second. Team's fifth. Bonus. Fastly approaching. Gavin Groninger still. No points for this game. And this is the guy that's leading the team in scoring to this point. Almost 17 of an out. situation with just a jump ball because Chris Young was forced to cover two guys. Tommy Amaker's squad has to get their defense of assignments down pat. Crawford's inbounding. Notice the Bowling Green does not have set plays out of bounds. They run passing games so much. And Dan Dockage is telling his young player that you've got to get the ball in bounds. Eric Crawford with another youthful mistake. Yeah, we saw him miss the layup on the breakaway. Then the foul right after that. And then so a couple of, couple of big mistakes by the freshman. If Michigan wins this game, Cabell Blanchard has got to play better basketball. Bernard Robinson has to take over as well. Those players have been passive and for the most part ineffective in the second half. Looks like that foul is going to be on Groninger. That's his second. You know what Dan Dockage's club has done? Actually, that was not about it. I think it was a turnover. People don't understand what we're sitting the top of the see. The students are so compacted here. And the corners of the corners of the court is awfully tough to see. There's the foul again. that your guys are gasping for air. Now look, Gavin Groninger not getting it done. Another turnover. That's going to be Michigan's downfall now. Pretty nice recovery. And notice on the foul. Netter is up above the rim with his head. This guy could be a high jumper. You got to give Gavin Groninger credit, though. He's the guy that turned it over. But he's also the guy, the first guy down the court, making sure McLeod didn't get an easy bucket. You know why that's valuable? Because if McLeod has the breakaway, he dunks the ball, and this place goes bananas. Instead, he misses the first free throw. That saves them at least one point in a tough game. Falcons lead at five now, midway through the second half. And Brad, who's the leader on this mission to change? Because I'm not sure. You know, I thought it was Avery, Avery Queen, the way he was running things. I'm not sure that was supposed to be a pass right there. No, but they'll take it. Bernard saying, what are you talking about? That's a beautiful delivery. They threw that up on the chalkboard at halftime. put them on the foul line and give them easy points. You got Groniger and Blanchard sitting down, and I'll tell you what, those guys are gas. Just look at them. They're tired, and they're not getting it done. Those are your veteran players. They're juniors, and they must take on the mantle leadership if they're going to have a chance to win. Queen on the inbounds, it goes to Young. Back out to Anderson. They're going to get team fouls. Bowling Green, six, Michigan, five. And we're going to be seeing the one-on-one -on -one here pretty quick. For both teams. Shot clock under 10 now. And another whistle. 
they're forced to take a quick shot. Now, I know that Avery Queen is a player with great quickness, but if you're defending him, Eric Crawford has to know that he's not a great shooter. You get way off of him, and you force him to shoot a contested jump shot. Again, Crawford, a, a freshman, he's going to make some mistakes like that. No worries. Two, 
by Chuck Bailey. Another freshman air. As Chuck Bailey matures as a player, he's going to understand that the referee is only about five feet away from him <laughs> on the baseline. You have to know where the referee is standing. Worth revisiting. Bowling Green shoots free throws very, very well. Yeah, down on the post, you learn some of those, uh, yeah. you learn some of that playing, and you, you, know, you know how to get away with a few things down there, don't you? Yeah, after you've been whistled three or four times a game with cheek fouls in the baseline, you start thinking, okay, wait a second, the referee's right behind me. He's breathing down my neck. Maybe I should knock this guy in the back. <laughs> he does the rebound, this can go the other way. Robertson over to Groninger. Inside to Young. Young fouled McLeod. Big, big break for Michigan. Lenny McKellar back in the ball game. Lenny had a shake and he picked up his third foul. Kevin Netter's going to sit down. Netter really gave Dan Dockett some good minutes. Delco alternators. Advanced Auto Parts carries more parts than any other store, including one you won't find anywhere else. You know we can give you a free installation if you like. Sure. Advanced Auto Parts. The best part is our people. The Mid-American Conference and Mac Properties salute all of the corporate partners for their valuable support and commitment. Their belief and participation in Mid-American Conference athletics have helped the league thrive, and we look forward to many years of successful partnerships. Two to go in this thing, and it is a tight one. Falcons of Bowling Green down, uh, excuse me, lead the Michigan Wolverines 50 to 48. With four fouls, Bowling Green might want to aggressively pursue Len McCullough, and for the first time tonight, Michigan sprinkling in a little two three zone defense. Eric Crawford. He makes a lot of plays. 
Sometimes they help his team, sometimes they help the other team. But it definitely makes play. Yeah, he, he's a gamer out there. He's always around the ball, and that's a brilliant defensive play. And from my standpoint, it's an easy call. Bernard Robinson was out of control. So Crawford heads to the line. When you're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union, Glass City Federal Credit Union is a full-service financial institution that's been a proud part of our community for over 50 years. We offer everything the big banks do. We just do it better. Better rates, better services, better service. Plus, as a member, you're not just a customer. You're an owner. Ask your employer if they're a member of Glass City Federal Credit Union. If they are, stop in and join today. If not, call or stop by one of our convenient locations for membership information. Glass City Federal Credit Union. You win. Big dreams, big moments. Celebrate with your favorite friends. I'm getting back today! What? There's wild romance. Come on, Ross, let's go have sex. Oh! Revealing cliffhangers. My pants are starting to come down and I'm not wearing any underwear. Big events you won't want to miss. We're going to see each other naked. Excellent. The best times are with friends. They're wild. Yeah, baby. Tomorrow at 7.30, watch Fox Toledo. Campus of Bowling Green State University. Michigan was down. Now they're up. Why is that? With four fouls, Metella cannot cover Chris Young. They may want to explore the double team. Drop step, jump hook, beautiful touch. And I've got to believe that if they keep going inside, Chris Young is going to get the high caliber look. Chris Young made it look awfully easy right there on Lenny Metella. Another part of it, the comeback for Michigan. Three critical one and one. Bowling Green missed the front end. They got that, that's a, a huge shock because they're such a good free throw shooting team. And you tell the cloud looks at three. This zone defense causing BG all sorts of problems. The cloud for three can't get it. The foul over the top of Lenny McDowell. All right, let's take a look now. They've missed the three, one and one. Metella, a very good field goal percentage guy. He makes his free throws as well. On the season from the line, over 80% from 
from Metella. The good thing here, they are now in the double bonus. So we'll be shooting two every time they go to line up. Metella makes both. Two four bonus. position but they don't block shots so far in this game there hasn't been much resistance from either team when they go inside three fouls on McLeod now so you got McKellar with four you got Harden with three and he got McLeod with three you also got Crawford with three Clayson with three so BG's to a point where they can't give away too many more fouls they're gonna be in big trouble Michigan on top, 56-52. We'll be right back to Bowling Green State University report. Wolverine Falcon basketball. We come back. With its built-in phone directory, alarm clock, calendar, and optional vibrating alert, you'll discover the easy-to-use Nokia 6100 series wireless phone. It's very helpful at planning your day. Phones are available at Altel. Visit Altel.com for the location nearest you. Parent, the play date. Oh, kill somebody up in here tonight! The hit series Bernie Mac. Then, is Papa Titus coming out? My dad will gaze and look up because Jesus is a coming. Find out on Titus. Tonight, starting at 9. Watch Fox Toledo. Up to the second late-breaking coverage from the team that does it best. Reasons to watch Fox Toledo News. Want to win some fast cash? How about $1,000 or $10,000? All this month, Fox Toledo will give you three chances every weekday to win some fast cash. Check out the front cover of your Fox Ball Values magazine for your lucky number. If your lucky number appears on the screen, you might win $1,000 or maybe $10,000. Keep your Fox Ball Values magazine handy and keep watching Fox Toledo to win your fast cash. Kramer causes a nun to rethink her vows. I'm dangerous, Jerry. I'm very, very dangerous. On the next Seinfeld. Tomorrow at 6.30. Watch Fox Toledo. You now have the freedom to watch King of the Hill five times a week. Well, I guess I better check this out. King of the Hill. Tomorrow at 5.30. Watch Fox Toledo. Tommy Amaker on the sideline making some nice faces. And I'm curious as to what some of the signs he... He makes a fist here in a minute. What's that mean, Tim? I've got to believe that the fist is the call for the 2-3 the zone defense that's been so effective the last five possessions. It's caused Bowling Green to be perimeter shooters. And here they are, they're calling in the man defense. <laughs> yeah, why don't they go back to, I don't understand why they go back to the man here. I would stick right with the zone because, especially because it can eliminate the passing game. Lenny McDowell underneath, drawing the foul. Looks like it's going to be called on Chris Young. That'll be Young's third, and put Mattella back on the line. That'll be his fourth. That'll be Chris Young's fourth foul, so we got both post players now in foul trouble. You know, Brad, this zone is so effective versus passing game because passing game is predicated on setting screens and, and running your guy off. If you're in a 2-3 zone, you basically stand there, cover your area, and the passing game cannot effectively get to the basket. I think the Michigan's best defense tonight is zone. So what do you think the thought process was in going back to the zone? Well, a lot of coaches enjoy coming out of the timeout and throwing a little misdirection. It's like after a turnover in football. You know, you try to go for something to throw the defense off because you know that they've been talking in the huddle about what they want to do. Another critical miss from the free throw line by Bowling Green. Yeah, but Tell only making one or two. Tell him that's going to be awful. Touch and stop. 
tried to trap Chris Young with the defensive air. What's more important, the guy dribbling at 30 feet or the good man rolling to the basket?
goal stretches. Now notice, Young catches the ball on cue. They've got a double or triple team right there, and somehow Michigan was able to get the timeout and not have to change the arrow.
they should say it. I bet you they could take down the goalpost. They would. <laughs> take down the basket. I'm sure they do that, too. Great win for BG. Beat Michigan for the first time in six tries. Once again, Bowling Green is led by four seniors. Two years ago, those seniors were champions. They won the Mid-American Conference title. They know how to play. The freshmen came up when it was important, and I really like the way Dan Dockage runs his program. And again, like you said before, this is not an upset. It's a pretty good veteran Bowling Green State basketball team. Falcons end up winning this day. Final score tonight from Anderson Arena is 65 to 59. That was one happy senior right there. It's Brandon Harden. The Falcons stopped off Michigan. They do it in front of their own fans. For Tim McCormick, I am Brad Fanny. Hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. We'll see you later. They're called comfort proteins, and only Good Start has them. Think of it as comfort food for the two of you. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. Want to smooth away your frizz? Get Pantene Smooth and Sleek Conditioner. Smooth your hair with Pantene Moisturizing Pro-V Formula. In just 10 days, it makes your hair up to 65% smoother and healthier. So healthy, you'll love your hair. Smooth Care Collection from Pantene Pro-V. You kids want some chicken nuggets? Hey, you're not the real Santa. What? A phony Santa giving away mystery meat nuggets? Not today! Freeze, Claus! Stuff that in the stocking. Now, taste the holiday cheer of all-white meat KFC popcorn chicken. KFC popcorn chicken is back. Crunchy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Get an individual side for just $1.99 or a party side for just $6.99. Popcorn chicken to all and to all a good night! Yeah. <laughs> okay. And wonderful. Trying to save a little time this holiday season? Then come to Best Buy, where you'll find something fun for everyone on your list, all in one place. Best Buy. This holiday, turn on the fun. Sprite presents the countdown to the 2001 Billboard Music Awards. Who will win Artist of the Year? Destiny's Child. I'm a I'm gonna make it. Nelly. Jennifer Lopez. 